Julia Beck. I am a research scientist at Thermo Fisher Scientific. Here at HPLC, I'm presenting a poster about separating a challenging bispecific monoclonal antibody sample. We got the sample uh, from a local biopharmaceutical company, and they wanted us to figure out which mode might work the best or which column would separate this uh, sample the best. And the sample is um, a bispecific monoclonal antibody, so it's actually assembled from different probably heavy chains or light chains. We actually don't know the exact information of the sample, and they wanted to separate all of these forms um, for their um, purification or analysis. And so here, um, we tested a lot of our um, map pack columns. We have SEC and SEX reverse phase HIC columns. You can see with the first result with the SEC, we were not able to separate all four of uh, the samples. In fact, they came out almost at the identical, um, with identical retention time. And then uh, when we tried um, uh, ion exchange chromatography, so we did cation exchange chromatography with our CX1 pH gradient buffer, um, in this case, it was interesting to see that we were able to separate it into two groups, A plus B and C plus B um, sample. We were able to see that it comes out a little bit earlier, and then the A plus D and C plus D samples uh, came out um, a little bit later. So again, we tried to separate it um, with a standard uh, reverse phase um, condition. And here again, we weren't able to separate these uh, samples uh, with uh, this mode. Um, then we decided to try our HIC columns. We actually have three different chemistries with the HIC column. Um, we first tried the MAPAC HIC 10 column, uh, which has a polyamide functional group as the stationary phase. And here, we, again, we weren't able to see a good separation. Then we tried our MAPAC HIC 20 column. This is also has a, a poly, uh, it also has an amide group functionality. However, the surrounding chemistry is slightly different. With this column, we were able to actually separate all of the four species. Um, so you can see the retention times here labeled, um, and you can see that they're all separated. So, we, so the, the winner of all the study we found that was to be MAPAC HIC 20 column. And then when we tried our MAPAC HIC butyl column, um, it did separate better than our MAPAC HIC 10 column still, but the, uh, the resolution between these species were not as good as our MAPAC HIC 20 column. So in conclusion, uh, we used several different chromatography modes to separate this uh, bispecific monoclonal antibody sample, and we found that in, for this sample, our MAPAC HIC20 column gave the best uh, resolution.